Assalamu alaikum students I hope you are fine I am here with another lecture of chapter number 2 from book of science this is for grade 6 and the name of the chapter is uh, sense or senses and sense organs now we need to understand quickly that what is meant by sense sense means when we feel something for example we see something that is sensing we taste or we feel the taste of something that is like sense so feeling everything that is sense now the question that is question number one it is what is meant by stimuli now students as i have told you before so what is meant by stimuli for example this is my hand if i just big chair so that means this hand is stimuli at the place where i hit that place has received this stimuli so that means that place is called receptor okay so what is uh, stimuli so that means anything that will have effect on an organism so that would be stimuli like anything that stimulates stimulates that means uh, makes the things move that stimulates or causes a living organism or a part of an organism to do something is called stimulus now what is stimulus stimulus is singular of stimuli stimuli is the plural and stimulus is the singular word question number two what do you understand by epidermis now it's very easy to understand the top layer of the skin the top layer of the skin that is called epidermis whereas the question number three is okay let me uh, go with this uh, the skin is made up of several layers the top or the outer layer is called epidermis so it's very easy uh, to understand that outer layer of the skin is called epidermis where is the second question third question says define dermis now what is dermis dermis that means inside our skin under the skin underneath the skin there are some nerves which are receiving the message and those ends of those nerves are called nerve endings. So where are they? They are definitely connected underneath this uh, part or uh, this part that is called skin. So that's why it is said the lower layers of the skin are called dermis. That means uh, the skin is uh, having layers underneath as well. Uh, those layers are known as uh, dermis. Then what do you understand by the receptors? Uh, now you know. I told you if I slap here so this slap is the stimulus but the area which has received this slap so that area is the receptor I always give you the example do you see people being received at reception at school or there is a reception at home we receive the people okay uh, here that means a part of body or anything that receives the action that receives the stimulus from the external environment that part is known as receptors now it says the nerve endings are called receptors nerve endings means underneath the skin somewhere there are nerves which are there to collect or to receive the message those nerve endings are called receptors because they receive stimuli from the outside world this is outside the world this space anywhere uh, this atmosphere so that means uh, where they will receive the stimulates or stimuli or stimulus so that means that area will be called as receptor then how many taste buds are there on the tongue very easy to uh, understand there are four taste four types of taste buds on the tongue what are those taste buds means on these two sides uh, along with the teeth uh, there are buds on the tongue which like detect the sour taste then the front part of the tongue this part this uh, detects the sweet taste and then usually you know there is a part at the back of our tongue that is near our throat where the tongue starts so that area that uh, detects the bitter taste that's what usually you know sometimes our throat gets bitter and uh, usually sometimes teeth get sour it's not the teeth that means that is the area that is detecting the sour sense or the sour taste that's what usually uh, it's a terminology that sometimes your uh, like uh, teeth get sour but it's not that way it's scientific then uh, how many taste buds are there i told you there are four types of taste buds which are sensitive to four tastes sweet sour salt and bitter what are the four tastes sweet sour or bit, uh, salt and bitter salts 
uh, they are also uh, just uh, behind this uh, sweet part okay and then on the sides we have sour and at the end like we have our throat ventures or starch sorry we have the throat starch, throat starch. at that part uh, the tongue contains buds with bitter, uh, bitter taste what is the difference between taste smell and flavor that is the question now what is taste taste uh, Taste is the sense detected by chemoreceptors on taste words on the tongue, means on our tongue. Okay, here you see tongue like uh, characters, small buds. Those buds are there to detect different types of taste. We already have seen there are four types of taste. What are those four types? It could be sour, it could be sweet, it could be salty, it could be bitter taste. Then another question is what is smell? Now in our nose, inside the nostrils, there is a special organ known as olfactory organ. Olfactory organ, that is the organ that is specified for the conduction of uh, smell. Okay, the two things. So that means what is smell? The smell is a sense detected by olfactory organs present inside the nose. Third part was, what is flavor? The three things. Taste, we learned that there are taste buds on the tongue. Then so the second one, which is smell. That smell is also a sense that is detected by olfactory organs in the nose. Then the third one is flavor. I know what is flavor. Come on, my dear. The flavor is a mingled sensation of smell and taste given off by the food. Means uh, whatever like flavor. Flavor it is formed when the taste and smell the both are mingled. And usually there would uh, uh, be a question that will be giving us a better idea. When you have a head cold, the lining of your nasal cavity is coated with a layer of mucus. Explain why a head cold affects your sense of smell. Okay, the sense of smell and taste are linked. I already told you there's a connection between taste and smell. Uh, this is what happens when you are cold, when you are fever, so sometimes if your nose is blocked, so that means you don't feel like eating, you don't really get the real taste, you don't really feel the smell of the food and that's why the flavor is not created. Why? Because there is a relationship or there is a link between strong link between smell and taste so that a high color factor sense of smell and also the way your food tastes. Question number 8 says, if you are blindfold and given a number of different objects to handle, what could you tell about that? That means if you are born blind, if you are blind, if you have no sight and you are given certain objects. So what is the way for you to like discern or to sort out or to tell that what are all these objects like? Uh, so there are different options like using your fingers, uh, using your test, uh, like a sense of smell or maybe you would be. Uh, it says, uh, the sign says, the shape of the objects that are given to you, texture, how do they feel, and also says and whether they feel warm or cold so there are different things different options blindfold people have like they can use their fingers they can use uh, uh, like uh, how to detect the test like uh, sorry what is the texture they can feel by the texture of the objects that what could it be like uh, okay uh, you can experiment but you can close your eyes, you can cover your eyes with a piece of cloth, ask your younger brother or sister to like uh, bind your eyes or close your eyes and then ask them to provide uh, you certain types of uh, objects by feeling their texture, by feeling their smell, sometimes by feeling their shape, you can like uh, conclude that how it feels or what is the connection by using senses of like smell, taste or like uh, touch or uh, etc you can feel then a few people are born interesting question it's very interesting question a few people are born without a sense of pain and you have to explain that how their lives are at risk it's very easy to understand and their lives are really at risk because senses are very important if we are not in our senses if we say anything like uh, okay i said anything but i was not in my senses so that means you are always risking yourself, you are risking others because it does not happen. Okay? Because if it happens, it's not a good thing. Why? Because if you're out of your senses or if you don't have the sense to feel the things, 
it means you go outside and something would happen to you and you would not feel you cannot say uh, by coming back home I didn't feel because by the time the danger uh, will have taken you and you know what happens is sense of uh, feeling is very necessary we must feel we must sense you know uh, what is the risk science says people born without a sense of pain might be unaware of an injury and so that uh, not seek first aid or treatment so that means we need to have a sense of pain uh, sense of pain it's scientific it's not a pain uh, though we must have that sense as well to feel the pains of others but uh, at the same time here it is talking about it's a question scientific question that if we have a sense of pain when we get injured we really feel that matters because if we will not feel so that we are, that means we are just like non-living things okay we are just like non-living things so anything can happen so like our blood would just uh, uh, flow away and so that means uh, we would be ultimately dead if we have uh, no sense okay of pain so sense of pain is very necessary so I hope something you understood from this lecture that upper layer is made up of dermis, the lower layer uh, sorry, of epidermis, uh, the lower layers of the skin that is uh, uh, made up of dermis, then uh, factors which are affecting the organism, helping or stimulating the parts of body or organism, they are known as uh, stimuli or stimulus, the singular, and likewise there are four types of taste buds on our tongue, they are sweet, or and uh, uh, bitter okay, and salty and uh, then of course uh, how can we like differentiate the things if we are blindfold yes we can do if we have our senses working I hope you all are fine and uh, I wish and pray that you be ever fine wherever you are watching me I just say God bless to you always and everywhere wherever you be so thank you so much thank you for your time thank you for your watching I hope you benefited and that's what I pray for.